you may want to try some texturing effects in your journal. I often do. So let's mix up a nice strong wash. So that the effects will show on the video. Now, you've probably thought of using salt before, but I would be remiss if I didn't include it. You can either shake it on or pour some into your hand. Oh, my salt is all chunky. And, and uh, put it here and there so it's not quite so even. That'll make an interesting effect. We'll just leave that for a moment and let it develop. Let's try another texture. <sighs> Blow away the excess salt here. I think we've discussed this one, but it's handy if you don't have access to salt. And then in the meantime, while I'm waiting for that one to develop a little bit of uh, dryness. One more quick texture. Which you can do anytime, anyplace. You have a hand, yes? And if you let that dry a little bit, it will have a different texture too. Now this one has started to lose its shine, so that should work out well. Just clear water. Well, almost clear. Gee, my paintbrush wasn't quite clean. There's a shock. You can spatter it on with a little bristle brush, or you can drop it in with a watercolor brush, and it makes an interesting texture. Now this one has started to dry a little bit, so let's come back in. And Kind of nice. I've used that um, in sand on a beach before, and it, it makes a good effect. And of course, you can always use your fingerprints. Why you would want to do that, you ask? Well, sometimes they make cool little trees. Although I've made used animal bodies and all sorts of things. Haha, I'm still printing. <laughs> anyway, see, those are some interesting effects and when your salt is or when this wash is totally dry then we wipe off the salt because if you do it before you're going to smear your effects and you don't want that or maybe you do that's sometimes an interesting effect you can see that the salt has dried in place for the most part anyway that's still a tad damp but you just brush it away and then you've got this Lovely little snowflake pattern, or salt, or sand, or sand, whatever. And look at what the water did. That's a very nice effect. Looser and softer, but quite interesting. I sometimes texture backgrounds with this just for fun.